An historic course playing host to the PGA Tour for the first time. This week gets set for the inaugural Greenbrier Classic. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by MasterCard. Built nearly a century ago, the old white course is a storied venue that will add another chapter this week as the tour heads to West Virginia. Hello everyone, I'm Casey Black. It's hosted several prominent professional events over the years, including the 1979 Ryder Cup, the 1994 Solheim Cup, and the Champions Tour has made three stops there back in the 1980s. And now in 2010, you can add the PGA Tour to the list. The Greenbrier Classic will be played on the old white course in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. It's had a long-time affiliation with Sam Snead, who served as the resort's professional for nearly 29 years. Tom Watson is also a part of the venue, serving as a golf professional emeritus since 2005. The Greenbrier Classic will play host to a strong field, some of whom are looking to make a charge as we head into the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup. And in August, more immediately qualify for the World Golf Championship's Bridgestone Invitational next week. A top 50 in the World Golf Rankings will do the trick there. A couple of players who are on the Bridgestone bubble, if you will, are Jeff Overton, who's 55th in the World Golf Rankings. Ricky Barnes, who's had six top 10 finishes this year, is currently 58th. Brian Gay, who scored eight top 25s, is currently 61st. Old Davis Love III is 70th on the list. Some other notable players to keep your eyes on this week include Jim Furyk, who is back in the field after missing the cut at the Open Championship. Furyk, who's won twice on tour this year, adding to his now 15 career wins on tour, is currently fifth in the FedEx Cup standings. With a win this week, Furyk could take over Ernie Els, who leads the standings. Look for Furyk to start things off at 1 o'clock Eastern time with Mark Hensby, who is looking for his first win since 2004, and Sergio Garcia, who, by the way, was the first player to commit to the Greenbrier Classic. Since starting out the year with just one top 10 finish out of 12 starts on tour, Sergio is coming off a tie for 14th at the Open Championship. His first finish inside the top 20 since the Accenture Match Play Championship where he finished fourth. Another couple of marquee groups to follow Thursday start off early on the 10th and the first includes Matt Kuchar, Kenny Perry and Stuart Appleby who will start things off at 7.50 Eastern Time. Kuchar, who arguably is having one of the most consistent seasons on tour, is 7th in the FedEx Cup standings, which was made possible by his career best 7 top 10s this year. Perry, who was born and raised in Kentucky, is expected to be a crowd favorite this week in neighboring West Virginia as he looks for his first win on tour this season. And Stuart Appleby, with his eight career wins, is looking for his first since 2006. And in the group immediately following them at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, Carl Peterson, Justin Leonard, and David Toms will head to the 10th. Peterson is coming off his win last week at the RBC Canadian Open, which makes four now career wins for him. Justin Leonard, former Open champion, who is coming off his missed cut in Scotland, is looking for his 13th win on tour. And David Toms, who's logged three top 25s this year, is looking for his first win since 2006. Bob Stevens is at the Old White Course and has more now on what we can expect for this first on tour. Casey, there are so many unknowns in this first Greenbrier Classic as to make it so very watchable. How low will these guys go this week? I've had players tell me as low as 25 under par is possible because the par fours are not that long, the fairways are fairly wide, the greens are receptive to the shots right now. Only two par fives on the course. This is the par 512 where you can bomb away and then maybe take a run at the green on the 570 yard hole or lay up with a wedge and throw that in. Great wedge course. Guys who hit wedges well will score well here. The par threes will probably decide uh, who really wins this tournament. Three of them are long. The 18th is absolutely delicious. Just 160 or so yards. Whole locations all over a humpy bumpy green designed by C.B. McDonald and Seth Rayner. Certainly an opportunity for a hole in one to end your round. We'll have all the action for you on the PGA Tour Network, Sirius 209 and XM 146, beginning at noon Eastern on Thursday, noon to 6 Eastern, all week long. Thank you, Bob. And you can watch the Greenbrier Classic on Golf Channel starting Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. But before you do that, starting at 2 o'clock Eastern Time, watch on the Tee Live on PGATour.com. We'll have exclusive opening round highlights, live scoring, player interviews, features, analysis, perspective, and much more. That's on the Tee Live starting at 2 o'clock Eastern Time on PGATour.com. PGA Tour Today is presented by MasterCard. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard, proud sponsor of the PGA Tour.